Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. This is just a really quick update for the water tutorial that I gave where I make an even better looking water. I'll just show you real quick here. Ah, oh, take a look at that. It looks even better than before. Uh, and it's even easier than before as well. <laughs> even simpler. Let's just bring it a bit lower so I can see. Oh, put under it. See, look at that. Even better even easier to make. This is without a light as well, if I stick a light in. See, look, absolutely perfect. Even better, even easier. So let's uh, get straight to it, to make a new. So here we are in Cinema 4D. First thing I'm going to do, once again, is uh, make a floor, copy and paste that, Control c Control v and move that one up a little bit. Now we only need two floors this time. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, the simplest thing, once again, we're going to go to the uh, animated waters and such. A little bit different now. Just going to go into a file, going to go to load material preset, send 4D, materials, misc, down over here to beta. And over here, we're going to take the upper layer and we're going to leave the lower layer. We don't need that anymore because our lower layer is going to be replaced. The upper layer, by the way, is animated in itself, uh, which is wonderful. Um, so we're going to go to load material preset. MoGraph, animated backgrounds, and down here is where we'd usually go to Stupor Water. We're not going to go there actually, we're going to go all the way up here to Booya Aqua. I'm going to click that, and this is going to become our underlayer, and I will show you why just now. So our upper layer goes uh, this one on top, and our lower layer with this one underneath. And I believe that was correct. Uh, upper layer, lower layer, yep. And that's all you need to do. Now, at the moment, it's not going to look very good because there's no sky, so I'm just going to stick a sky in the background right there. And you go into the file, uh, Cinema 4D, Materials, uh, here's the basic, Sky. Stick that in. Whoop. Sorry. Stick that in here as before. Make this 50. Make this uh, 25. Uh, bring ourselves down enough and you don't even need a light to be quite honest and you get this wonderful look uh, now one of the problems that we had last time uh, if you remember if you were there for the other one is uh, that the water from on top is see-through so you can see the material underneath through it and uh, of course you could see these disgusting patterns on the, the water so we had to make the water no longer transparent but now because of this underneath we don't need to do that I'm, I'm way up high here so it kind of looks a bit odd but if I were to come all the way down up close and hit render you can see the texture underneath actually looks wonderful and it makes this really nice natural greenish bluish color water which you can change at any time just come in here to the color change the color over here to perhaps a nice bold blue and then just bring down the mix strength over here and straight away the color changes so your water is now a more natural perhaps a more bluish color instead of having that green bit um, absolutely fantastic and it animates absolutely perfectly okay so you can see it's absolutely it's beautiful so there you go, really simple, really effective, really absolutely gorgeous, uh, no need to worry about anything, you know, it's all good. Uh, if you use this technique, send me a video. Uh, I want to I wanna see your videos where you're making this technique, uh, I want to see where you're using it. So yeah, um, thanks very much for watching, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, um, and if you want to see some of my other videos, by all means, thanks very much for being here, and I'll uh, see you again later.